We put the Xiaomi 13 Pro through our rigorous DxOMARK camera test suite to measure its performance in photo, video, and zoom quality from an end-user perspective. This article breaks down how the device fared in a variety of tests and several common use cases and is intended to highlight the most important results of our testing with an extract of the captured data. Primary. 50MP 1.0, sensor, 23mm equivalent f, 1.9 aperture lens, dual pixel PDAF, OIS. Ultra wide, 50MP, 14mm equivalent f, 2.2 aperture lens, AF. Tele, 50MP, 75mm equivalent f, 2.0 aperture lens, PDAF. With a DxOMARK camera score of 136, the Xiaomi 13 Pro performed well in our tests, offering bright exposure, nice colors and good detail capture in both photo and video modes. In addition, the camera was capable of producing high image quality at close and medium range tele settings and recorded still images with a wide dynamic range, even in low light. The 13 Pro camera has some similar hardware to the Xiaomi 12s Ultra, but there are a few differences to note. The primary module uses the same large 1-inch 50MP sensor, but the 13 Pro's tele setup is different. The 13 Pro's tele lens doesn't use the 12S Ultra's periscope design but comes with a shorter focal length that has better light gathering capabilities. Another difference is that the 13 Pro is powered by Qualcomm's latest Snapdragon 8 Gen 2 chipset instead of the first generation variant in the 12S Ultra. Both models have Leica branded lens and the Leica color modes. We performed all DxOMARK camera testing with the vibrant setting, just like we did with the 12S Ultra. Overall camera performance was very similar between the two devices, with differences in some sub-attributes. Notably, the 13 Pro's shorter tele resulted in lower image quality at long-range tele settings. However, it has improved over the 12S Ultra at close and medium range settings, especially when shooting in low light. Still images captured with the Xiaomi 13 Pro offered a wide dynamic range, but our testers observed some contrast issues on faces and a halo effect around subjects that would appear when HDR processing kicked in. Overall, the 13 Pro's exposure performance was quite similar to the 12S Ultra we tested previously. The same was true for color, but the Xiaomi 13 Pro delivered a slightly more neutral white balance in daylight shooting. The 13 Pro also managed to capture a high level of details and to keep noise levels low. This said, they were not quite as low as on the 12S Ultra. Unlike some previous Xiaomi models, the 13 Pro does not feature zero shutter lag, and in some scenes, our testers observed a noticeable delay between pressing the shutter button on the display and the image actually being captured. For our testing, we used the Leica Vibrant Image Mode. Authentic mode applies slightly lower levels of saturation, but the difference would not have had any impact on our score. The choice of mode comes down to personal taste. Like we had previously seen on the Xiaomi 12S Ultra, colors were usually saturated and nice on the 13 Pro. However, but we noticed some skin tone issues, especially in backlit scenes like the one above. Our testers found white balance to be more accurate than on the 12S Ultra in various conditions. Overall camera performance was very similar between the two devices, with differences in some sub-attributes.